In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach a Venom uh, LiPo battery to the Headplay FPV goggles. Now we've been flying with these FPV goggles for a few weeks now and, and they're great. We love them. Um, the one downside is that the batteries don't last too long. The, the battery that it came with is uh, really only good for about an hour. And if you want extended flight time, then really an additional battery or batteries are required. So what we've gotten is a Venom uh, 200 milliamp uh, 2S LiPo battery, and uh, we've adapted it to the Headplay unit, and it's worked great. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how we attach that battery to the uh, to the Headplay unit, and uh, let's get started. All right, so here are the tools we'll be using today for this project. Uh, we have our battery, of course. Uh, we have our Dean style T plug adapter. And we have the male version of the uh, 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter plug. That is what we're going to be attaching to this uh, Dean's T plug adapter to use with the uh, head plate unit. We also have this handy little tool here that will hold everything together while we're soldering. We have our soldering torch, our heat shrink gun, and then some marine grade heat shrink. The, the heat shrink that we use has a glue inside, makes the connections really stiff and makes it so they don't come loose in the future, which is nice. Um, the other thing that we'll be using is our Fluke multimeter. Uh, we're actually just gonna be using it for resistance and uh, the resistance is going to tell us if we've in fact created a good connection uh, between the units and uh, we'll test it at the end. So the first thing we're going to do is light our, our torch here. Um, it works really well for uh, soldering and making, you know, making adjustments in the field. So uh, let's light that real quick. Uh, first thing we're going to do is separate these wires a little bit. So we have to make sure that we're choosing the right polarity for uh, each side that's really important so as you can see uh, right here we have a, a little mark for a negative okay so this is going to be the black wire here and then uh, on this side we have a little mark for the positive and the red wire is going to go on this side okay so we are going to uh, solder the red wire and the black wire into place So before we do any soldering, we need to put some uh, heat shrink wraps on our wires. We need to make sure that we put them uh, put them on before we solder. Today we'll be using a 3 16 inch diameter um, marine grade uh, heat shrink. Okay, this heat shrink has a nice little glue inside, and you'll see when we shrink it on that uh, that it does really nicely. So let's cut a piece. Most of the time we'll use a little more than we need on the shrink wrap. Uh, the T-plug did come with some heat shrinks. They're a little shorter and they're, they're way less heavy duty. So uh, we're going to cut two. They're the exact same length. Okay. And slide them over the wires. So the thing to point out is that these adapters came uh, pre-tinned okay so there's a little bit of solder on the tip of each of these wires and uh, what's nice about that is that we don't have to do it but you would need to tin these if you are making these plugs or if you're uh, reusing them taking them off something else the link for these plugs uh, are in the description of the video below all right so putting a little piece of cardboard right underneath in case we drop some solder uh, we don't want that to uh, <laughs> melt our pad here on the table so First wire we're going to do is the hot lead, okay, so we're going to do the red wire first, and uh, what, what we're going to do is take our soldering iron, okay, give it a little, uh, little clean, make sure that we have a clean tip. We're going to pull out our rosin core solder, okay, and uh, we're going to get in here and uh, heat up the, uh, heat up the terminal just a little bit. No, I am by no means an expert solderer, so. All right. Thank you. 
Okay, got a nice connection. We are now going to turn our uh, turn our little tool here to allow us the uh, uh, access to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. All right, now we're going to attach the black the black lead. All right, so the connection looks good. Now it's time to uh, shrink the heat shrink. All right, so they're in place. Now we're going to turn on our heat shrink gun. All right, so uh, what we're doing here now is uh, sliding over a half inch inside diameter um, heat shrink, okay? And, and basically what we're doing here is uh, we're just giving a little more added security. You can see that uh, the heat shrink didn't get, uh, didn't cover completely the hot side. So I wanna make sure that we don't have any, uh, any issues with that when we're in the field. So we're just going to slip this over here and uh, shrink it down. All right, and that worked great. Um, you can see some of the glue popping out from the uh, from the marine <laughs> the marine heat shrink. So that's that's a good thing. It means it's all sealed up and a uh, nice good connection. So I'm gonna let this cool, and uh, then we'll do some resistance tests. Uh, before we hook this up, uh, we're gonna check to make sure that the connections that we've created um, are in good shape. Uh, that there isn't a lot of resistance, that we're, we actually hooked up the positive and the positive line, uh, little things like that. So uh, what we're going to do is actually take the counterpart to this, which is the, uh, the female terminal, and uh, it came with the, with the kit, and you'll see that in the links below. Uh, we're just going to spl uh, split the two wires, okay? We're going to connect it, okay? And uh, we're going to use our fluke voltmeter here um, in the resistance setting. Uh, to test the lines, okay? So if we hook one, uh, one end up here on the negative and the other end up on the negative of the, um, of the new T connector, that beep means that, um, that we have no resistance, that it's in good shape. So uh, we should also test this on the positive terminal, make sure that we haven't in fact uh, crossed lines somehow or soldered two wires together. So we're going to put it on the, po on, the, on the positive side of the terminal, and uh, we in fact are in good shape here, okay? So now we're gonna test them in reverse. We're going to put the, uh, the positive terminal here, and the positive terminal here. It's good again. Check the negative, nothing. All right, perfect. So everything worked out well. Uh, now it's time to hook it up, see how it works. unplug our female connector. We're going to plug in our, uh, our connector now into the LiPo battery. 
good. You can see too, this is super solid. Uh, with these marine shrinks on here, I mean, I have no problem pulling this on and off. Um, with the shrinks that were provided, um, there was just no way. Uh, you no way you'd feel comfortable doing that. So um, there we go, we plug it in. Now, for the moment of truth, we are going to plug in the head play unit and see if it powers on. There it is, blue screen, that's what we wanna see. Uh, we don't have any signal connected, so. Uh, successful. Uh, we've, we've officially attached a uh, 2000 milliamp uh, Venom battery, a LiPo battery. This is a 2S battery uh, to the unit. Now, um, Headplay did state that we can put uh, 3S batteries as well, okay? Um, they're a higher voltage. Um, I didn't see uh, any benefit to doing that. Choosing a battery, um, you're going to want to look at the milliamps rating on it. Um, the one that it comes with is a 1300 a milliamp hour battery. Um, this one will give us about an hour worth of flight time with the goggles. Um, this guy here uh, will do not quite double, but we're getting about an hour 40 out of it. So that's pretty good. Um, we'll probably end up going up to a 5,000 uh, milliamp battery so that we can just keep it on, especially if we're doing traveling. Um, my son actually likes to use these to watch uh, movies. So uh, that's a, it's a pretty easy way to, uh, on a car trip or on the plane to to watch a movie. I hope this video was useful. If it was, subscribe below, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know.